हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यूडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी कैन सी नंबर ऑफ वेज टू स्प्लिट द आर इट इज सिमिलर टू द हिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव डन द हिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन आई हाई रिकमेंड ट्राई दिस वन नाउ इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इन टीचर आर इफ नम्स एज यू कैन सी यू आर गिवन नम्स एंड द लेंथ ऑफ दैट इज एन सम लेंथ एन now num contains a valid split at index i if the following is true what is the following that the sum of first i plus 1 elements is greater than or equal to the sum of last n minus i plus 1 if i have n elements in the first i have i plus 1 then in the last i will have n minus i plus 1 elements so if the sum of the first elements is more than or equal to is more than or equal to the sum of last n minus i plus 1 elements then i will simply say okay the condition is satisfied i have to return and i have to return the number of valid splits number of indexes where this condition is satisfied this condition is satisfied cool uh, and now there is at least one element in the right of i that is Which means that both in the left and right, I, right, I should have at least one element. Now, if I have to approach this, the first very naive way can be that uh, I will go and start. Okay, for the first possible way, which means to check, okay, if this split is valid or not, I will take the sum from left. I'll take the sum from right. Which means, okay, if the sum is ten, here the sum will be three. So I just simply check. Okay, if ten is more than equal to three, yes. Okay, count increase by one. Then try for the next split, which means now take this, take this, again take the sum, again take the sum, fourteen, and then here the sum will be minus one. Yeah, it is more. Okay, count increased. So you see that I go, I will roughly go on to all the indexes. Then I will go to this index. At every index, I am going from left. I am going from right. so in total i will iterate all n elements for every index i have n indexes for every index i am iterating on all the elements time will be o of n square will that work obviously not so what i can do i can simply see that i am repeating the same stuff what is the same stuff that i am repeating if you remember carefully here when i was taking the sum from left and right what i did i took the sum from left again let's say this is the left sum and this is the right sum let's say again in the very beginning even if i imagine i took the entire sum so this is what i took okay as i move on to next i did this as a bifurcation which means on the left side i just added a 4 on the right side i just removed the 4 so you see that as i shifted my index i only one element is added or removed okay as i move again next simply what happened again you just added a minus 8 and you removed a minus 8 and obviously you cannot go and take this as a bifurcation because then right element will become empty so we realize that as i am sliding on to as i am moving on from left to right i will keep on incorporating that specific i will keep on incorporating that specific element in my left and will keep on removing from my right so it might feel like i am taking a corresponding prefix sum and suffix sum there is one way you can approach this problem but obviously if you take prefix sum and suffix sum again if you don't know just go and watch the video in the description that is something what we saw previously also that we maintain a prefix sum and a suffix sum array that array can help us to know what is the corresponding prefix sum so far what is the corresponding suffix sum so far and with that i will be easily able to figure out that okay so far this is a prefix sum this is the corresponding suffix sum okay if prefix sum is more than equal to my suffix sum okay that's a good specification or that's a good split increase the count but in this i can also see that if i would have taken prefix sum or suffix sum i will take o of n space because of these two extra arrays but uh, technically i just need total sum total sum is nothing but in the very beginning my total sum in the very beginning my total sum will be 4 minus 8 plus 7 plus 10 let's say and right and then as i am start as i will start iterating let's say if i start iterating from here then for, as soon as i will get the first element i will add the uh, in the in the very beginning left sum is zero as i went on to the first index i will add it i will remove it from the total sum so after removing it will become the right sum 
it will become the left sum. I simply compare as I move my index again, I will add plus four, only plus four I'll add, I'll remove four. Okay, then, then I will compare the sum from left, sum from right. Same way as I move my i again, I will add a minus eight, I will remove a minus eight. I'll take the sum, I'll take the sum and then I'll compare. And again, this is the last index I should go on to. So with this, I only maintain two variables, left and total sum. And as I'm going on to all the indexes, let's say I, I'm just simply incorporating that current index, which is an O of 1 operation. So because I only use two variables, space will be O of 1 and time will be o, o of n because I'm just going on to every index once. Now, how is the code looking like? Uh, as I can see that I will have left sum and the total sum. Total sum is nothing but sum of all the elements. When I will subtract the current element, it will become the left sum. So after subtracting, sorry, it will become the right sum. After subtracting, it is actually the right sum, right? So you can also put it as right sum. That's totally up to your choice. So then I will, as I go on to all the elements, but I have remembered, I will not go on to the last element because if I do the split of the last element, the right ele like the right specific sum will become zero, which is something we don't want. Again, the sum can be zero, but the element should not be empty on the right side. So that is the reason I went ahead up till this index only as I. I did not go up to this index because this is not a valid configuration, right? Okay, then I will simply go on to all the indexes, uh, add the current element in the left to incorporate the left sum, remove the current element from the right, from the total I should say, to get the right sum. Then checking the condition, if it is valid, okay, it's a valid split, and then ultimately try for all the possible indexes, ultimately return the corresponding count. As I can see, my time is O of N plus N, O of N plus N, and my space will be O of N because of no extra space used. I hope you guys got it. It is easy one, but uh, yeah, we it's our duty to actually get the problems to you. Bye-bye, take care.